Uh, certainly plenty of good NBL action coming up this weekend. Adelaide uh, take on the Gold Coast tonight. Towns will take on uh, Wollongong tomorrow night. The Perth Wildcats uh, back at Challenge Stadium uh, taking on the travelling New Zealand Breakers. Uh, Luke Schintzer, of course, uh, had a stint with uh, Chicago, played with Adelaide last season, has made the trek across the Nullarbor to play with the Wildcats. He's been good enough to join us. G'day, Luke. How you doing, mate? Yeah, not too bad. How have you found the move, uh, first up, going over to the Wildcats and how you sort of fitted into the dynamic of their team? Yeah, no, it's been good. Um, yeah, it's fitting well with the guys. Um, everyone, you know, it's a good, good group of guys and, um, you know, we've had a pretty good start so far. Uh, we've been lucky enough to have five home games in a row, so, um, you know, we've taken care of business and got those and um, things are looking pretty good. Why did you make the move, Luke? Uh, of course, you came back from a stint in... Uh, the States. We'll talk about that in a moment and went back home to Adelaide and played last season. Uh, why did the move come about in the off-season? Yeah, um, I was actually looking to head back overseas after last season. Um, that was the plan all along. I had a knee injury when I was in Germany, came back, had some surgery, got that all sorted and figured I'd just play um, in Adelaide for a year and then try to get back overseas. Um, and then during the off-season I was actually playing with the Los Angeles Lakers in the league. And I hurt my back, um, and I was in bed for for four weeks. I uh, couldn't get out of bed, so um, things didn't really work out as I had planned. Um, couldn't get in front of any teams um, to try out. And when I came back to Australia, um, Adelaide had pretty much signed all their players. So looking for somewhere else, and just worked out that Perth still had a spot left. And um, I jumped on the chance to, to come over here and had a chat with Rob Beveridge, who um, you know talked up the place, and he sounded like. Um, Real good, real good coach, and just kind of worked out that um, you know I'm found myself here. And basically, you've moved from one uh, passionate basketball state to another. Uh, Perth is a, a fantastic uh, venue. Uh, every team that plays there finds it extremely hard to win. The fans are up and about. You regularly get uh, four or five thousand, so you really moved to a, a great basketball environment. Yeah, for sure, they love it over here. Um, every game's sold out so far, so it's um, been a great atmosphere. They all wear the the red colours, so it's just a sea of red, and um, you know it's it's real fun to play here. Um, and yeah, I mean the crowds are probably a five ten point of point advantage for us every game. Um, the way they get after the opposition and and lift us, it's great. Have you still got aspirations, Luke, to get back over to the NBA, get back across to Europe? I mean, how does that sort of work from this point on in in trying to facilitate that? Yeah, I mean for me, it's it's about um, just getting my body body right, having having a couple of seasons where, you know, I'm, I'm not injured and, um, you know, just trying to get that base where I can head, head overseas and, um, you know, just, just be able to go over there and show what I've still got. So uh, I'm not looking too far ahead this season, just about, um, you know, getting back into the swing of things after um, being injured in the off-season and, and just trying to get another good year under my belt. How are you finding the standard of the NBL? I think we ask every basketballer this question and we have a basketball show here on a, on a Sunday night and it's a transition year, eight teams. Uh, the depth is uh, pretty good right across the teams. It's an extremely competitive uh, ladder. Wollongong are surprised. Uh, the Gold Coast are getting a great win against New Zealand on uh, Thursday night. It's very hard to uh, pick uh, the winners uh, each week. How are you finding it out, out there on court, just the depth of the teams and, and the quality of the competition? Yeah, I mean, that's it. There's only eight teams, so the talent's condensed. And, um, you know, it just shows. I mean, it, the, the levels are really strong. Um, you know, I mean, I think it's one game separates one to seventh or eighth spot, you know. So it's um, <clears throat> it's a real tough league this year. And uh, I think every home game is really important because um, you go and play away. And, and the way the season's worked out is that it's really hard to get a road win. Absolutely. Uh, Luke, how far can Perth go? I mean, Paul Rogers, unfortunately, is not going to see a lot of basketball. Uh, we had Sean Reddidge on our basketball show in the paint a few weeks ago. He continues to... Uh, lead the way beautifully and he's taken on, on the captaincy uh, role in what you've done so far and you've got another home game uh, tomorrow night. You seem to be building a, a very nice uh, platform. Yeah, we, we've been happy with the way things are going but um, we definitely have a lot of improvement to do. I mean, we're not fooling ourselves. We've, we've had four or five home games in a row um, so, you know, we always wanted to try and win those games. Um, the real test is has been able to go on the road and um, you know get a couple of wins there, and I mean we have New Zealand tomorrow night, who uh, you know we consider one of the if not the top team in the league, um, so that's going to be a huge test for us. And then we turn around and, and go to New Zealand and play them again on Thursday, so it's going to be a big week for us, just a, a big test, and um, you know we'll see how it goes. 
as I let you go, the news about Julius Hodge. You, you would have played alongside Julius, I think, did you? Yeah, yeah, I played with him when when he was in Adelaide. Yeah, and, and of course he's been signed by Melbourne. We spoke to Al Westover earlier on. He's going to arrive here Monday or Tuesday. Uh, he's an amazing player. Uh, you saw it firsthand. I went to a couple of games at the cage and he, he blew me away, the things he could do out on court. What do you think he'll sort of bring to Melbourne? Can you sort of take us inside the world of Julius Hodge? Yeah, like you said, he's an unbelievable player. Um, you know, he can get to the rim whenever he wants. Um, you know, he gets guys open creates a lot of things for, for the other teammates. So, you know, if he, if he can fit in um, with the guys and, and fit in with the system, um, you know, it'll be great for him. Was that a question at Adelaide, uh, whether he could fit in with the team dynamic uh, in the end? I mean, how, how did that work? Because he's such a, a flamboyant, extroverted sort of player who, uh, you know, in the couple of games I saw, would take the ball from one end to the other and, uh, and do everything out on court. Was he, was he good for Adelaide in a lot of senses in the time he was there? Yeah, I think he was good um, for you know a few reasons. Obviously, the, the excitement that he brought to the team, um, you know, definitely um, people wanted to come and see him play. Um, and you know, he, he he did get guys open and create for other guys too. Um, so on the court, you know, everything was well. But obviously, he left on pretty bad terms with everything that went on in Adelaide. So uh, I just wish I could get to the game. Uh, I think it's December fifth when they when they play Adelaide in Mel- in, in Adelaide. So. I think that'll be an interesting game with the fans getting out there and, uh, you know, trying to tell Julius Hodge what they think of him. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, he's going to add some colour, there's no doubt, and uh, V Townsville next Saturday night here at the cage. It'll be a great battle. Uh, Luke, good luck against the Breakers. You've got them twice, as you mentioned, the next week, and a uh, big uh, period coming up for the Wildcats with a few more away games after a, a nice uh, home spell. Uh, great to have you in the NBL, and uh, look forward to the, the Wildcats being in Melbourne shortly. No worries, thank you. The Luke Shents are, uh, well, what can you say? One of the biggest men going around and uh, certainly a very handy acquisition for uh, the Perth Wildcats. It's seven minutes to seven.